Hello all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of VMware vSphere 7.0 and uh, as discussed in our previous session, now we need to understand about the concept of RDM disk. So I hope you all of you know about, I think we have already discussed about the theoretical part, the work of RDM. It's uh, really important because uh, in case of RDM, we are uh, planning to provide the storage directly from the shared storage to our virtual machine that we created on ESXi. So firstly, we just need to know, understand about the concept of RDM and after that we'll move ourselves to setup and try to understand about the procedure. So guys, this one is our server 20, 2016 that we will use as a shared storage and another it's our ESXi 7.0 and what we need to do, we just need to access our ESXi and uh, uh, configure RDM disk. But before that, it's our responsibility, we should know about the concept, what exactly happened in case of uh, RDM, what exactly happened in the back end when you configure the RDM con uh, setting. So RDM as per the name suggests is a raw disk mapping. For example, this way, this is your ESXi host, right? And as we know that ESXi is a core feature of uh, bare metal virtualization means hypervisor type one. And uh, we have a one shared storage. For example, this is our shared storage. The capacity of shared storage, it may be uh, 1000 GB, okay? Means it's approximately one TB. In ESXi, we already created a one virtual machine. This VM contained Windows 7 operating system. The Windows 10 operating system, which is contained by the ESXi virtual machine. So as we know that we have a two different way to assign the hard disk to our virtual machine. One, you can directly capture the space. You can provide the space from your existing data center. Existing data center in the sense, whenever you access your ESXi in format of GUI, let me show you. 192.168.1.18 this is the ESXi IP address of our ESXi host we need to access via web client and uh, need to verify how many shared storage are available so I'm just going to log in with the help of uh, uh, built-in root account right Cool. So now we are on page of uh, ESXi GUI panel and click on storage. So in this storage, we are able to find two different storage are available. One is local storage and another that we configured in our last session, the NFS storage. So NFS is a type of protocol which is help us to share our space from shared storage to our ESXi, not only the ESXi. If you have another server, if you have a client operating system, so definitely NFS can support both types of platform. But here we are planning to manage, this is our virtual machine. Here we are planning to configure RDM disk for our Windows 10 operating system, right? So this is our Windows 10 machine that we configured that we installed in ESXi and we are planning to provide RDM disk to our Windows 10 operating system, clear? So how we can achieve it, how we can configure the RDM? Let's try to understand the actual meaning of RDM, raw disk mapping. As per the diagram, in this case, Whenever you want to share the space from your shared storage, because the shared storage capacity is 1000 GB, I'm planning to share uh, maybe 100 gig space, not to ESXi data center, right? We want to share this space to our RDM disk. So RDM disk is, it means that with the help of RDM protocol, yeah, RDM service, we are able to share the LUN logical unit number directly to the Windows 10 machine means no need to assign no need to configure our logical unit number as a data store in the part of storage of esxi we just need to divert the same space same logical unit number directly to windows 10 operating system not only the windows 10 if you have a linux mac operating system we are able to uh, distribute the resources distribute the hard disk directly to the virtual machine clear Question is why it is important. The important part is you should know about in which case we need to assign a RDM disk to our Windows machine or uh, Linux machine. So basically RDM is you can say that much faster in compare of storage disk. And second important part, if you are using a, a database services, like you want to establish SQL database or any other high uh, means uh, daily uses uh, services like as a web server. So you must need to configure RDM disk because the, the RDM disk can give you high data transaction speed in compare of data storage, correct? 
So I'm going to show you the step because we have already discussed about how to share the space from share storage to ESXi. We already completed the part of ISKG and uh, NFS. So this time we need to understand about how RDM can perform the task, right? Back to the GUI panel of our uh, uh, virtual machine that we installed in uh, uh, ESXi 7.0. I'm just going to open it in another page. Means you can see that new page and uh, check how many hard disks are available in our virtual machine. Okay, this is our Windows 10 operating system. It's updating our operating system. We have already configured each and everything. So our agenda to configure our uh, RDM. So before that, it's a meanwhile, I'm just going to uh, configure one series storage by using our Windows 10 operating, Windows Server 2016 operating system. This is the uh, system that we want to distribute the, IP, distribute the series storage with our ESXi machine. So need to log in it. And as you know that if you want to distribute any space from one machine to another machine, it's really important both machines should be communicate to each other. So I'm just going to verify the connection or communication between both systems. CMD. As you know that the IP address of our ESXi host is 192.168.1.18. Is it correct? We are properly able to communicate. Yes, we are getting a reply. Fine. Next, uh, as we know that we don't have any shared storage, so we want to use this machine. We want to use Server 2016 operating system as a shared storage. And so what you need to do, we just need to click on Add Role and Feature. If you're not installed, this is the first step and uh, click next you need to install iSCSI role next it's a type of role which is available in file and storage services I think I have already installed but you need to know about the procedure sorry we have anything installed so just need to click on iSCSI target server next next and install the first step you need to install iSCSI on your server operating system it may be 2012 it may be 2016 or 2019 as well so th the feature of iSCSI which is available in every server operating system so once our iSCSI service installed in 2016 we will configure we will share the space for the RDM for our virtual machine which is available in Windows uh, which is available in ESXi 7.0 so it still is uh, in progress not an issue Cool. We successfully installed our uh, uh, iSCSI service. You can say that iSCSI server. Just need to close it. Click on File and Storage Services, which is available on dashboard. Click iSCSI and need to create a storage that you want to distribute with your uh, virtual machine or iSCSI. Virtual machine or uh, our ESXi host. So I'm just going to create a one uh, share storage. Still, it's in progress. So we just need to wait only one or two minutes more. because we are unable to find the option of create see so because only the region of our uh, iskg service is not installed properly so let me refresh and try again no still in progress okay so fine 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 everything is okay target server is installed let me click next So already installed try to check it again yes we are able to find new iskg virtual disk we have a 36.7 gig of free space so i'm just going to share only 10 gig space as a share storage so type the name shared rdm how much you want to distribute i want to share rdm disk with 10 gig of capacity next new iskg target next again rdm disk you can put any name it's depend upon you Next again, click add and you want to distribute with your iSCSI. So I'm just going to use the IP address of our iSCSI. Sorry, not iSCSI, it's ESXi host. So ESXi IP address is 18 because you know that our virtual machine is a part of ESXi. Click OK. Next, 
next and create we successfully created a 110 gig of space that we distributed for 192.168.1.18 the condition is not connected back to the esxi virtual environment esxi host go to the storage select the adapter but before that i'm just going to show you the step where you can configure the rdm disk open your virtual machine click action select edit setting and as we know that this is the panel where we can change the hardware configuration so our agenda to configure rdm disk need to click on add disk Unfortunately, we are unable to find new raw disk because we 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 haven't connected any kind of uh, ice kg storage. That's why we are unable to find the uh, new raw disk because it's a uh, grayed out. So what you need to do? Firstly, you need to connect your space, connect your shared space uh, to ESXi, and then try to configure RDM. So open storage, go to the adapter, select software ice kg. And you must need to enable it and need to verify the IP address of your provider. So this is our provider. Check the IP address. One ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot twenty five. This is the IP address of our server. Means provider. Back to our ESXi panel. I'm just going to click on remove the existing storage, store uh, existing connection. Click add new dynamic. Type the IP address of your provider. So this time our server 2016 act as a work as a storage provider. We successfully configured the ISKZ adapter back to the portal of uh, server 2016 and see we are able to we are able to find the connect. So our 10 gig of space that we shared with the help of ISKZ protocol, ISKZ protocol successfully connected to ESXi host. What you need to do? The next step, let me check the status of our virtual machine still in progress. Let me connect. Okay, so restarting, it will take time. But I'm going to connect. I'm going to show you the step how you can assign the space. So as we know that, need to click on uh, action, click edit setting, select uh, new disk. Okay. And this time we are able to find new raw disk is activated. Right. If you check, if you check on storage, we don't have any space. See, we don't have any space that you share. 10 gig space is not connected with your storage part. If you want to add your 10 gig space as a data store, just need to click here. Uh, VMFS data store. Next. We are able to find 10 gig is, is, space is available. If you want to put the any name and uh, proceed for next, you are able to get the same space as a data store. But we don't want to do that. Because we are planning to access our 10 gig of space directly to the virtual machine, not to the ESXi host. So really simple step that you need to use just uh, open our uh, virtual machines properties means by clicking the uh, action button edit setting click add hard drive new raw disk see we are able to find same 10 gig space which is available in our uh, uh, raw disk mapping select and save this is the procedure that you can use to configure RDM. So I hope you all of you understand about the concept. So why we need to use it? If you plan to establish your database server, if you want to host any application server or web server, you must need to use uh, RDM disk because it's much better in compare of data storage disk. I hope you all of you understand about the step and concept. Let me know if you have any question or doubt. So. I think it's enough for today's class. We'll connect soon in another session and discuss about the another topic. Take care guys and bye-bye.